Okay, this is a review on the how to center your servos. I've got a battery, oh, excuse me, a servo tester I got from banggood.com and I've got a power source to power it. It just holds four AA batteries and it's got a regular three wire type connector that you use with most servos. Now, it's only using two of the wires, the positive and the negative, and you can see here you connect it with the negative on the bottom, the dark wire. And you've got three selections. I've got it in neutral right now. If I take a servo, and this one is a Tower Pro MG90S, which I believe I got from banggood.com. It may have been altitudehobbies.com, but I can't remember. Anyway, you just plug it in with the negative, the dark wire here, in the same orientation as the power source. You've got three servos that you can connect. So I'm just connect it to any one of those. That automatically centers it. When you get your servo, it may not be centered. You may get it and it's you don't know where it is. So once it's centered, you can go ahead and put on your servo arm. And that's about as close as I can get it. And I'm not going to try to twist it to get it centered. Because if I do that, I'll strip either the gears or I'll over voltage the M the PCB inside the servo. If I did that to something like this, that's how you break them. So you never do that, fast or slow, if it's powered on. If it's powered off, you can do it very slowly and maybe you won't damage it. So anyway, once you've got it hooked up, then you can just, you know, test it if you want. If you go to the down position, it's automatic. This one's got about 120 degrees of throw. Looks like it's good. Go back to the middle position and it centers again. The upper position is manual. So, you turn it. And that's what you want. You want the maximum throw this way or this way. And something else to remember when you're working with servos different servos, different brands aren't necessarily going to turn the same direction. When you turn your servo either here or on the uh, transmitter, see I'm turning that clockwise and this is going counterclockwise. I'm turning the knob counterclockwise and this is going clockwise. Different servos will be different so you may have to reverse the servo once you get it on there and you never know until you get it how that's going to work. And I can't say for sure that that will work the same way once I put it in the V913 helicopter. And I'm looking at that as a possible candidate to replace the ones that are in there because it almost fits. In fact, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good fit. It might be just a little bit deeper in this direction, but there's just a few millimeters back here that will allow that to come back a little bit. And the mount hole here and the arm are about the right position. So I think that will work. That's it.